The next animal we will be evolving will be the most complex so far. We will be getting amphibians. And for the most part, my tank is already set up for it, but there's just a couple of additional things to help get us started. In order to get amphibians, we ultimately need our fish to be eating crustaceans, which means we first need to create fish and crustaceans, which I have already covered. To get our fish, we will do that by flatworms eating on these tall, simple leaves. And then to get our crustaceans on the right, we will have flatworms eating these tall, complex leaves. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need two families of flatworms. So I'm just going to drag one and create another family. Now I've got two groups of flatworms. They both will need a house near the plant type we want them to eat. So over there, they will be eating the tall, simple leaves that will get us fish. And then over on the right, my new family will be eating the tall, complex leaves to create crustaceans. And I covered both of these individually in earlier videos. So now I've got to wait until I've got both of those. And you can see I've already got two more homes waiting down here for my fish and my crustaceans. So I'm going to speed up the time until we've got both fish and crustaceans in this tank. So we've got both of those animals, my fish and my crustaceans. They will want to have their homes close to each other so that the fish will prioritize eating the crustaceans. The other thing I'm going to do just for the sake of clearing up this video is I'm going to go through and just eliminate my flatworms. We no longer need them, so I'm just going to go and delete them. All right, our flatworms are gone. Let's start getting some homes for the fish and crustaceans. I'll put them kind of in the middle. There's our fish home. And then next to that will be our crustacean home. I'm gonna put the original flatworm homes back into my inventory. But this next step is not necessary. I don't know if it even helps. I'm gonna actually make some more crustacean families just so we've got lots of food sources for our fish. So now I'm gonna put my other homes back in here for my new crustaceans that I have added in. I'm just gonna let the simulation run. So I will see you back here once we have our amphibians. Finally, after about 30 minutes of running at the top speed, we have our amphibians there we go um, these ones will get quite a bit bigger but when you first make them you might think oh they're so tiny they will grow they will grow and get nice and big and look pretty cool uh, but yeah 30 minutes running at about the ideal settings having our fish feeding on crustaceans got us to our amphibians uh, let's go take a look at them Here's our amphibians. This one's at least got his eyes open. Um, but yeah, took about 30 minutes once I had my fish feeding on my crustaceans. We've got one more tier two animal to go and it takes even longer than amphibians. But I will see you in the next tutorial.